Hey everyone, um, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kimberly and I am a sales and marketing coach. If this is your first time of visiting my channel, kindly subscribe to my channel and do not forget to share. It wouldn't only help me with my business, it will also help other people that need to see content like this to see it. So thank you, welcome back. Let's go to the topic of the day. So since the past three weeks, I've been speaking on how to raise capital for your business. If this is the first video that you're seeing in, uh, from that series, do not forget to go through my page on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook or wherever you're watching this from to catch up on the last um, three videos that I have recorded speaking on how to raise capital for your business. For every um, entrepreneur or anybody that has started up a business, uh, they all have different reasons. A lot of people don't want to work for other people. A lot of people didn't get a job um, and so on and so forth. There's many reasons why people venture into business and decide that this is the line they want to talk. Today, I'm speaking on using your job as a means to raise capital for your business. So if you've never had a job and this is you trying to venture into the world of entrepreneurship, hmm. There's so many reasons why you should get a job. Number one, the experience that comes with getting a job. You know, when you work, you know what not to do when you own your own business or what to do better than your employer did. And then there's also the managerial experience you get and entrepreneurship experience you get. And then there's the administrative experience you get because a lot of people uh, lose sight of these little, little things that makes up a business. Because if you venture into, into entrepreneurship, then you don't know the administrative part, especially when you are you don't have the funds to hire an admin uh, staff to do your filings, your paperwork for you. So it's also relevant knowledge that you would get when you have a job. But that's not my focus for today. I'm talking of using your job to raise capital for you. If you intend to start a business as a job owner that has a nine to five, how can you raise capital from your job? Your salary is one way you can raise capital from your job. You get paid, yes, somebody watching this will be like, Kimberly, I have bills to pay, I have rent, I have this. We all do. But if you are focused enough, no matter how little your salary is, right, you should keep a portion of that salary. Uh, let's say you get 100,000 Naira. Can you intentionally put aside 20,000 every month now, it depends on the business you're trying to start because I would not think that you who is en uh, uh, ha who has a job that, um, you know, you're earning 20000 you're trying to um, open an oil and gas firm where you deal with shipments. That dream is not necessarily feasible with your job. You can't raise capital from your job, your salary with that uh, for that kind of business. But what can you do? The contacts you get on your job so the one way is through your salary you could uh, separate a portion of your salary and say you know what I'm gonna save this up to start up my business depending on the business you want to start another way you can raise capital through your jobs is the relationships you build so let's say you work in the firm where you're excellent at your job or you're not even excellent at your job but you get to interact with people every day that come to your firm to transact to do business with your company how about you get these people's contacts Sometimes out of goodwill, people want to support you when you decide to break out of a firm. That's another way because those people could either lend you money or they could decide to come on board to support your business as silent partners. Did you just raise capital for your business or not using your job? Yes, you did. I hope you enjoyed watching this episode. Do not forget to go through my page and catch up with previous episodes where I was speaking on how to raise capital for your business. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe share, like, and drop a comment. I really want to know what you think about this method of raising capital for your business. My name is Kimberly, and I'll see you next time.